there is a line on this test. A solid line. I don't really know how I feel. I'm frightened. I'm sad. But I have this little spark of joy. Like a little spark amongst lots of sticky mud that I feel like I'm drowning in. Just a little spark. Um, because I'm not empty. But I know it's not prim. It's not prim. And it was not planned. Definitely not planned. But it wasn't avoided. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Is it stupid? Was it just meant to be? Um, because obviously it's very soon and I didn't even know if I ever wanted to to do this again. Not 100%, I didn't know. Um, but I was too scared to take my pill. I was too hurt. It was too sore to take my pill. And obviously, you know, people can say, well, why did you have sex? Because at a time like this, you need your partner. And, you know, I don't need to tell you the story of the bears and the bees, but, you know, it's a really hard time. There's a freaking line on this test. I've tested a few days ago. Um, I've done a test every day since, and I haven't been sure because I've thought I've saw something like a shadow or, you know, worried it was an evap. I thought I just was like, hmm, and I didn't know for certain. So until just now, where I've seen this more pinky line on a cheap test, but it's definitely a pink line. Reese, Reese knows already. He knows that I tested early. I didn't tell him that I bought the t first test, um, because. I thought I was just being silly. I just, I worried, I guess, because obviously I know we didn't have protection. I guess I, I worried then. I thought, oh no, like, it's, it's soon, like, if it's happened, like, it's so soon, like, oh my God. And I started to panic a bit, so I just wanted to give myself peace of mind and no, I guess. And I felt really sick for some reason. But I have had a tummy bug, which I think is down to stress. Um, a lot so I didn't know if it was something to do with that or it, if it was you know a pregnancy or not I don't know but I'm really worried that people won't understand I worry that people will be angry I don't know I'm really frightened I'm frightened of what people will think of me well they think I've just put prim to the back but I have And I'm not trying to replace her either because I know she's not here. She's spare for God's sake in an urn. I know she's not here. What do I do? I know what I have to do. I just, I just, you know, what is is. Um, what's meant to be will be. And I just have to look after myself. All I need to do from here is just wait and see what happens because obviously I'm prone to miscarriage and it seems I'm now prone to stillbirth so I guess I just have to take good care of myself to be able to take care of this little line because there's no way it's not wanted it's wanted and if it's there if it's you know really there then I will love it but I'm just in a bit of shock <laughs> And emotionally start like and then emotionally stuck in between grief and shock I guess <laughs> and that little spark like not forgetting that little spark because if it ever turns out to be a successful pregnancy then I would never want them to look back at this video and think oh I wasn't wanted because definitely it would be wanted and loved but it's just such raw and painful timing <laughs> um, but I, I'm not really sure where to put my feelings at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to try and keep calm. 
I've got to go and take, I've got to go and get some aspirin because that's when I had my meeting of the post-mortem report they said you know if we did ever have another baby in the future they would like me to take aspirin from the moment I get a positive until the very end of that pregnancy whenever it may be um, to give it a chance and I guess that's what my next step is is to get some aspirin <sighs> and eat well and drink plenty and I'm gonna take pregnancy vitamins this time I've already decided just now I didn't with Prim I didn't with Penny I did with my miscarriages and I lost them all I didn't with Penny and she was here I didn't with Prim and she's gone so I I used to blame the pregnancy vitamins for my losses but it seems even not taking them doesn't make a difference so I guess all I can do is try and give this baby a chance and take them and hope that you know with the aspirin and the vitamins and me trying to eat well and drink well that and stay calm um, it'll have a chance and I've got to do it for Prim like Prim would want me to look after it as well so I've got to do that but yeah, I'm going to test again tomorrow. I've got another one of these. I'll just see if it's a bit darker. And then my period's due on the 10th or 11th. I can't remember just now. I'm gone blank. But I think I'll do a digital then and see what it says. It seems here we go again. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back to you. I am really pregnant. <laughs> oh! So here's a bit of background. We lost Prim in December 2017. It was heartbreaking. We had been trying for her for an awfully long time, 1.5 years. Her to just be gone and have a stillbirth was absolutely devastating. It felt like afterwards we were back to square one. We had to go on contraception and I'm not gonna lie, it was just too painful. I could not bring myself to take those pills. It hurt so much. But in grief, you just don't see reality in the same way as you do when you're not grief stricken. You, I knew I wasn't taking the pills. We knew we were having them. And we didn't think as far as we'll get pregnant again, there'll be another baby, we'll get pregnant again and have another one. Like, that wasn't in our minds whatsoever. We were broken for Prim. It wasn't about having another baby at all. And I just want to get that point across. I know this baby in my tummy growing at nearly six and a half weeks is not Prim. And that I realise. We didn't plan to replace Prim. She's not being replaced. And I just want to get that out there very, very soon into this pregnancy because it wasn't planned. But it also wasn't prevented and that was down to grief um, because we just couldn't see that far ahead and we needed each other and it just happened. Things like that just happen. We didn't know it was going to happen because, you know, we've never lost a baby before. We've never been in this kind of grief state before. Um, so it was all very new and when I found out I was pregnant, I was so shocked. I didn't know how to feel. I didn't want to feel anything because I felt such guilt for being pregnant because I'd lost Prim so recently. Um, and it was very confusing. It was really, really difficult. I still struggle now, but I have attached. I am attached and I love this baby more than anything. And I want it to be fine. I want it to be healthy. And I want to have it in my arms by the end of this pregnancy at, you know, a healthy gestation if possible. But it is really hard. Um, this isn't like a mega update, I just wanted to put this after, you know, my announcement. I just wanted to say please be kind, please be understanding if possible, um, you know, we are actually pregnant again. So it's very soon, I'm very frightened, I'm very in love with what's in my tummy right now, I'm very in love with Prim, I'm very heartbroken still, I'm confused, I'm struggling I'm you know I'm happy as well and it's just all very overwhelming um 
so just bear with i don't know when we'll be announcing this because you know it's such a big thing i think maybe after like our 20 week scan and we've had that you know reassurance and things like that then but you know any reassurance isn't going to feel like reassurance until the baby is born alive and well and put in my arms um if we get to that stage because obviously like you know if you've been subscribed to my channel or heard my story before we have had three miscarriages so six and a half weeks is a bit of a scary time at the moment but i'm feeling good i'm feeling very sick i'm sitting here now like struggling beyond belief to get through this video but yeah just bear with and if all goes well i can't wait to tell you um i can't wait to share the journey i can't wait to explain how it feels being pregnant so soon after a stillbirth because by god it's it's got some emotions along with it yeah we'll discuss that once you all know <laughs> um yeah, thank you for watching and let's see what happens. <laughs>